Excellent! What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is going to serve actually two, maybe three purposes. Uh, the first of which, as is hopefully indicated by the title, is going to be how to set up for a lengthy charity live stream. A 12 hour one in my case. We're going to have a couple people here, me and Kyle, uh, set up as well as a third position for a moderator and just somebody to make sure nothing goes too wrong. So I'm going to be going over my setup procedures for that. But the second reason is actually, if you look at your calendar right now, and it's December 9th, uh, which is when this video is going to go live. It's actually happening right now, this charity live stream. So you should definitely check the link in the description to go over and uh, check out our live streams over on Twitch. We're going to be streaming to my uh, Twitch channel as well as Kyle's Twitch channel. Uh, and it should be lots of fun, playing games, raising money for charity. Third reason is to say goodbye to my beard because during the live stream I'm probably going to be shaving it off. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, so let's quickly run down the plan uh, using my basic desk setup that I have over here. We're going to have three computers in use. Of course the main streaming system over here which I'm going to have a wide camera setup showing everything and I'm also hopefully going to have uh, system one and system two being captured by that so it can stream both gameplay as well as audio and everything out via one stream if people just want to watch that. We will individually be streaming from our computers, so I have uh, Arctic Panther set up over there. That's going to be my streaming system over in that corner. going to have Kyle sit right here, and he'll be using the giveaway system. Actually, this is the system we're giving away. Lovely picture of the rear end of it, but it's my entry-level Threadripper build. It's uh, about an $1,800-ish system with a 1900X and a 1070 Ti. I'm going to position that right here with Kyle sitting here facing towards towards this direction. Uh, and then also have a workstation set up here so that Joe, our editor, or perhaps later on Wifey Sauce, can sit right here um, to watch what's going on on that system, monitor chat and everything, and hopefully maybe also set up something going on in Discord. So I need to make sure that uh, both of the gaming systems are set up with Steam logins and have as many of the games loaded onto them as possible. I need to make sure that the streaming system is set up. Uh, I'm going to use a couple 1080 monitors for us to game on so it's easier to capture over there and uh, make sure that that's capturing properly to operate for the mainstream. And then of course I got to make sure everything is lined up uh, for the charity stream so we can take donations and everything like that. Uh, Kyle is supposed to show up here 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and then we're supposed to start at 9 a.m. We'll see if that actually happens or if we end up being a little bit later than that. But I think with some uh, appropriate prep today, we'll be in good shape. But before any of that, I gotta make sure we have supplies. So uh, I'm gonna make a run for libations as well as uh, make sure we got some snacks. Stop number one. So many decisions. All right, I tried to keep things simple. Got some Stella Artois a little bit later. Uh, got some Lost Coast Downtown Brown, one of my favorites. Always like a good brown. Uh, and then we got this Delirium Noel by the makers of Delirium Tremens. So we'll give that a shot. And of course, Chimay, Grand Reserve. I'm at Albertsons now. I think I never get this type of thing. So this is a good excuse to get this type of thing. Like a coffee cake. For that. I got a cart this time because I don't want to make the same mistake I did last time where I had to limit my choices when it came to beer. I was also looking at these poppy seed muffins though. I don't know if I want to test positive for opioids though or whatever. Red velvet. Ah. I'm gonna get some fruits and vegetables. So like apples. What's your favorite kind of apple? We got green. Oh, lady. I don't know what Lady Alice is. Golden Delicious. Over here we got Crips Pink. I might go for that. I usually usually go for the Bloods Pink, but that's not bad. Alright, I think my provisions are taken care of, uh, other than the alcohol, of course. By the way, I don't want to insinuate that you have to have alcohol in order to do something like this. We're certainly not requiring it, and we're probably not going to break into that stuff until a good, I would say, halfway through the stream if we're smart about it. But first off, of course, we got to have breakfast, so coffee cake for that, as I already mentioned. Next step, we're attempting to imply that we're being somewhat responsible here. Look, we got vegetables, and uh, we got some naked juice, of course, you know, help re, you know, give us back needed things that's that's in there no sugar added I mean come on 
Got some fruit in here, of course, for some natural energy, some apples, some pears, the Bartlett pears, of course, if you want to, if you know what's good for you. Finally, beyond that, you know, we're going to get more reasonable here. So I got Pop-Tarts. Again, this is, I never get Pop-Tarts. I haven't eaten Pop-Tarts in years, but I feel like that's something that would be good to have for a live stream. Got some cheese dip, and um, I already have the chips for this at home, so that's good. And then finally, later on, we're probably, maybe, going to need some, like, end of the stream extra energy cell. Just got some classic Red Bulls to top things off. Alright guys, I am not done with this, but I do need to finish off this video that I'm making right now. So, uh, although I still haven't completed everything, like, I still have a UPS there that I want to at least connect the main system up to to make sure it's got battery backup. And I might get secondary monitors going for some of these systems, but uh, here is a quick rundown of how things are set up. Not even using the Predator X34. I wanted to stick with basic 1080 monitors uh, for the monitors that we're gaming on. So I got one 1080 monitor here set up with Arctic Panther. I got one more 1080 monitor set up over here. And that's actually connected up to the entry level Threadripper system right there. So my gaming station is going to be right here. Um, I'm just going to be streaming out your simple, uh, you know, me in the corner with whatever game I'm playing right there. I've got the Logitech C920 webcam set up there to capture my face and then I'm going to be using just a standard headset to listen as well as to talk out to the people on my direct stream right here. I've also got a mic going on up above actually these are the same mics that we use for awesome hardware so uh, one is over here as well and those are both going over to the soundboard right there that's connected up to the streaming system. The streaming system is going to be streaming the, the master stream uh, of both of us. So the other thing to point out is that this system actually has two HDMIs going out, one to the screen here and the other one going over to the capture system and they're just set to clones. So that screen is also available to the capture system. Kyle's system is set up uh, with the ripsaw right there externally. So it's just HDMI into that and then over here to this. And then uh, he's gonna have pretty much the same system. Uh, he's bringing another Logitech C920. Uh, I actually have another Logitech C920, but I might connect it to that system there, but then uh, we have to figure out his audio, because I might actually pass his audio through the soundboard. But then the final little uh, workstation, sort of, is going to be right here, with the stool of, stool of shame. Uh, and here is where the control panel is, so I've just been using OBS to get set up, and I do have proper capturing going on with uh, the camera as well as the two screens from the two computers. The last part of this that I didn't really show is uh, what this camera is right here, and that's actually the camera that I have set up. Just kind of suspended up there in the corner so it can peek down there and look at uh, me over there, as well as Kyle right over here, and then uh, get sort of a wide shot of both of us. Also, it'll be nice to have this stream able to be going the entire time, uh, so that if Kyle or I need to cut off our streams for whatever reason, if we need to take a break or something like that, that'll still be available. But guys, that's gonna about do it for this video. If you'd like to see a bit more technical breakdown of how I have everything set up here, rather than just sort of a quick hit of how it's configured for the live stream, please let me know down in the comment section down below. In the meantime, of course, if you're watching this and it's Saturday, December 9th, be sure to click the link in the video's description to go over and check out our live stream, uh, do a little charity donation, watch us play games, should be lots of fun. Elsewise, uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll be back with more tech videos very soon. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out if you did enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.